All right, we're on page 18 and 19 of FJH book number three. And on page 18, we have the G major scale pattern. Remember, major scales have a certain pattern of whole steps, which is two frets on a guitar, and half steps, which is one fret apart on a guitar. So the G major scale pattern is this. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And there's a whole step between A and G, a whole step between A and B, a half step between B and C, because that's only one fret from open string two to string two fret one, a whole step from C to D, a whole step from D to E, a whole step from E to F sharp, and a half step from F sharp to G because there's only one fret between these two notes. Uh, you could do this on one string, which would make it easier to see the pattern, but you don't actually play the scale on one string. You don't play the scale like G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You don't play a scale on one string like that, but they just have it like that at the bottom of the page, so it's easier to see the pattern of whole steps and half steps. Uh, go to page 19 now. By the way, you can use scales like the C scale and the G scale for warm-ups. They make a great warm-up. Um, just to get your fingers wiggling, you memorize them, and then you can get into your songs. Um, here is uh, the can-can based on the G scale. At the top of the page, they do talk about key signatures. And the key signatures, see where the hashtag is next to the G clef at the beginning of that little exercise, top of page 19. That's a sharp, like we know not a hashtag, um, and it applies to all the Fs in the whole song. So, where it says play F sharp here, that's because that little sharp is on the top line of the staff, so all the Fs are sharp in the whole song, unless it gets canceled out by a natural. And this F would be sharp, and this F will be sharp, so not this note, or this note, or this note. They're all sharp. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Uh, let's hear the can-can. One, two, three, four. What a nice little melody. It's fun to play. Uh, by the famous composer Jacques Offenbach, and he composed uh, a lot for opera. Uh, this is, in fact, this is from the Operetta, which is a small opera, tiny opera, Orpheus in the Underworld. This is called the Can Can, the melody I just played. So go and practice your notes for the Can Can. You can come back and play with me in a duet. So let's see if I can harmonize this here. One, two, three, four. G and D7, that's it for that one, the one and five chord. Notice the last measure in the top line of the can-can. There's your G scale right there, almost the whole thing, right? Starting with the high G. G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A. And in the next measure, the first note of the second line, your low G, was right down a G scale. So scales make up songs, right? Scales make up chords, scales make up everything. Okay, so have fun with this, practice hard, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.